Today, I'm gonna to work through a business problem using Snowpark. I'm going to try and pull the list of my top customers ranked by sales for a Superstore summer promotion. Let's get started. I've already turned on the Snowpark function for my Snowflake data source, so I can really easily just get started by pressing Get Snowpark Session. From here, Hex has already pre-imported our toolkit as well as the connection for Snowpark. If I wanna test that the Snowpark session is actually inside of my notebook, I can run Hex Snowpark session and get the output showing that there is a session. Next, I'll import a number of functions that we'll use throughout solving this business problem right inside of my function. Inside my notebook. Um, next, I'll run a really simple query using Snowpark's functions to pull the min and max date of my Superstore orders table. Now, Snowpark executes queries lazily. So I can see the return is a Snowpark data frame, but I, actually, actually, I haven't actually pulled any of those results into my notebook. If I do want to run those results and show them, I'll just add dot show and I'll pull back the results of my table um, limited to 10. Next, we can get a little bit more complicated. Let's say I want to aggregate up all my sales by my customer name. So as you can see here, I'm using another one of Snowpark's functions to run a sum against my customers and I'll alias that sum column as total. Perfect. And now I see all of my customers and all their aggregated sales. But this function isn't actually using anything to rank the customer. So I'd have to go through and pick out which are my top 10 customers. Instead, I'll use a window function to rank all of my customers over time and pop out the top 10 results. Perfect. So you see here, we're defining top customers and creating a column called rank um, with a window function over our total column that we had previously defined above and we're you know, running it down descending. Awesome. I can also use the dot query method at any point to instead run a SQL query still using Snowpark functionality in Python. So what I'm allowed to do here is pull in the exact same query inside of SQL if I feel more comfortable using SQL but instead define the output type as Snowpark instead of a traditional Pandas data frame. I'll see similar results as that I saw in the query above. Instead, if I want to also run something like this using SQL, I can of course use Hex's SQL cell, turn on the data source connection to Snowflake, and then run the same query, but inside of SQL. You'll see that when I output this, the definition of this data frame is just a traditional pandas data frame. But if I want to change the output to Snowpark, I can rerun my query and then the output will change to a Snowpark data frame. If at any point I maybe want to plot the results of this inside of hex, let's run, you know, sum of sales as total and add a group by. I can then change the output type back to pandas and really easily chart the results of that inside of my hex notebook. Maybe we should limit this actually to just the top 20 customers. Perfect. Now I'll pull my query result in and I'll plot customer name against total. I can even format this a little bit to have all my top customers on the left hand side going down descending. Awesome. So in just a few short clicks, I was able to solve my business problem using Snowpark, but also be able to use SQL functionality or use hex to plot the results.